Hello learners, my name is Simran and I am from team CloudyML. I welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to understand that how you should understand the code line by line. Okay, many, many of us will have a problem of not understanding complex codes easily. Okay, so I am going to share with you all a way that how you can understand complex codes easily and that to line by line by explaining each function and each keyword in Python. So for that, we are going to see a question. The question is, given the names and grades for each student in a class of students, store them in a nested list and print the names of any student having the second lowest grade. Okay. Uh, nothing you're just you're just given a list with which is having names of student and uh, their scores and you have to print the name of the student having the second lowest grade okay so for that first let's uh, write the code okay so what we're going to do is uh, suppose Suppose this is a list. We're having various names and scores. Again, name scores. Okay. So what? Uh, in the code, as we can, uh, we are going to first. First, simply we will take the input from the user. Okay, to get the number of observations that we're going to store in the list, that will be n. And then we will be uh, storing, we will be taking the input name and the score. Okay, and after that, we will be creating a nested list as mentioned in the question. Nested list is a list within a list. Okay, this is the format of a nested list. Correct? So, what we're going to do is we are going to create this list as list in list name comma score. Again, the next name comma score. This will be the format of our list. Okay. So this will be the part where we will take the input and we will create the list. Next, what we will be doing is Okay, next, uh, we first have to find out the second lowest grade so that we can compare it with all the grades. So, how do we do that? Suppose, S, H is our variable name for the second highest uh, grade. Suppose we are given some grades 81, 32, 55, 31. So, how you will find it? A simple trick is to sort these numbers. So by sorting, you will get the sequence. So here, the second lowest grade will be 32. This is the first lowest grade. 32 will be the second lowest grade, correct? So you will sort. But how do you sort a nested list? That will be a question. So what we will be doing is, in this case, we will be using a set. Okay, why set? Because set only considers, uh, it does not consider duplicate values. It will consider only the unique values. So for that, we will be using a set. Why? Because suppose here we have 232 scores. Okay, 2 times we have 32. So, uh, or suppose we have 2 times 31. So while sorting, it will be sorted in such a order. So from this, you will get the second lowest as 31, but this is the wrong answer, correct? Right? So for that, uh, we will be using the unique numbers, okay? For that, we will be using the set. By, why? Because by considering set, you will only get the unique values, okay? So after set, next, we will simply compare that uh, which marks or which score is equal to second highest this value and then the corresponding name will be printed okay this is a simple logic for this code but the code 
in real can be a little complicated so first let's see the code then i will uh, make you understand it line by line okay so now first uh, we will just declare the list that in which we are going to store the values okay the name and the score so this is the list next okay, for i in range int input now what will be this input will be simply taking the number of observations so simply write enter number okay our code uh, will iterate n number of times okay because we are storing this in suppose n so next it will take input of name so i'll write over here enter name and after that we will take the input of score so this will be int because score is a number correct so that is why we will write score uh, int enter score okay after we get these values two values then it will be appended in the list that we have declared and how it will get appended in the form of a list only because we have to create a nested list correct okay so this has been appended next what will happen the next step that we uh, we that we discussed is that we will find out the second highest value just a second having the second lowest sorry so this will be the second lowest value is equal to sorted sorted is the function that will be used for sorting the values list set now in the set what values we will consider is the marks all the marks for name comma marks in the list but we only want the second lowest value so for that we will be using the concept of indexing and we will consider the first index why because we when we start in this list we will be uh, considering the 31 value as zero index then 32 as first index so with whatever will be the second low second lowest value will have the uh, index as one so that is why we are considering the index one after we get the second lowest value uh, we will be printing this value okay join name for name comma marks uh, in this we are using the concept of list comprehension i'll make you understand that in sorted list underscore okay now we will compare the marks marks is equals to second comma low second lowest okay so this is our code now let's execute it first just a second let me check it I think there's an error. Okay, this will be equal to equal to. Now let's do it. So let's consider four observations. Okay, from that first I'll enter my name. Uh, let's give the score as 56. Then let's say Harsh and we'll give the score as 72. Then let's consider Rahul. Let's give the score as um, 76 and then uh, let's consider the name 
uh, Anjali and we'll give this score as 32. Okay, so the now it will be printing the second lowest score, the student having the second lowest score, which will be similar. Why? Because see the scores are 32, 56, 72, 76. So here the second lowest score is 56 and the student name is Simran. Okay, so let's understand this code line by line now. Okay, I, I think that up till here the code will be clear. Okay, the, in this part we are only accepting uh, the numbers and the scores. Okay, uh, and we are appending it in the list. Okay, we are only taking the user input and we are appending in the list. Okay, so let's understand the code from this part. Okay, so whenever uh, you understand a complex code, you should always begin from the uh, innermost bracket. Okay, you should always begin from the innermost bracket. What it will do is it will make you easy to understand the code. So suppose this is the innermost bracket. What it is doing, it is considering the marks for name comma marks in list okay so what simply it is listing the marks it is creating tuples name comma marks and it is only extracting the marks from this tuple okay so what are the marks from our tuple see the first input that we gave was this, see this is the list Simran comma 52 I guess it was 56 then we had Harsh comma 72 then we had Rahul comma 76 then we had Anjali comma 32 so what it will do is it will iterate through all of these and it will extract the marks so this will be the marks that it will extract correct and next what it will do is it will apply set on it what set will do is it will uh, omit all the duplicate values and it will consider only the unique values so this is the symbol for set set will be applied come one more step ahead uh, go opening the brackets okay you you can widen the brackets as you understand the code you should begin from the innermost bracket and then you should go on the other brackets outside so next it will list so once it it has formed the set it will be converted into a list because sorted function can be applied on the list okay and then it will be applying the sorted function so after it applies the sorted function this will be the values and finally the last bracket here it will consider the first index which will be the second lowest value first index here is number 56 so this will be the output of that step of this entire step second lowest value will be 56 now next in the next step what it will do is it is joining okay first as i said you should go from the uh, innermost bracket so in our case the innermost bracket is this sorted list underscore so what will be the sorted list underscore it will uh, sort the values here okay based on the name and on the number see this is the list that we have and it will be sorting the list so our values here after sorting will be Anjali 32 <coughs> then uh, we will have Simran comma 56 then Arash 72 and then we will have Rahul 76 okay after this uh, what what it will do is see next now go to the next bracket this is the next bracket what it is doing name for name comma marks again it is iterate, iterating through all of these okay wherever you see the keyword for it indicates that iteration is taking place okay so what it is iterating name 
for name comma marks it is iterating through all the name comma marks at, and it is extracting the names in the first step we were extracting marks over here but in the second step now we are extracting the names so simran anjali harsh and rahul and next go to this side of the same bracket that if marks is equals to is equals to second lowest what does this mean we have to only consider the name for which the marks are equal to second lowest so consider first name anjali the marks are 32 32 is not equal to 56 so this will not be considered for simran the marks are 56 and 56 is equal to 56 so simran will be considered harsh and rahul will also not be considered <clears throat> so now the name that we are considering is simran and next it will be joining come one bracket outside it will be joining the name with the slash n which is new line character why new line character because if new line would ha not have been there it will print the output on the same line but we want the output on the new line so it will print the output which is simran on the new line okay so uh, this was our code that we saw. Okay, keep in mind that uh, whenever you see a code or whenever you understand a code, you should begin from the innermost bracket and then you should <coughs> come uh, one bracket outside, again one bracket outside and following such a sequence, you should understand the entire code. Okay, and uh, keep in mind wherever you see a for, you should uh, get in your mind that it is for iteration and set is considered for having unique values and similarly sorted is the function for sorting here one we have uh, specified for the index one because we wanted second lowest value join is the function for joining two components so here we have joined new line with the name n name n is considered from the list of name comma marks for which marks are equal to the second lowest value. Okay, so this, this was the code. I hope you have understood each and every line of it. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can uh, put it down in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video and uh, do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet and also share it with your friends. Thank you.